What's up, Mena Nerds? This video is about two CIS vehicles that most people have never even seen. Let's start with the C9979's rival, the Harbinger Tank Transport. Although it wasn't as wide as the C9979, these shielded bay areas seem like they could fit a couple MTTs, or a couple dozen AATs. Although it is very difficult to get the exact dimensions down for this ship, I feel like if you took the length, width, and height, you would get a similar volume to the C9979, but it would carry less ships because the hangar bay areas were smaller, in favor of incredibly thick plate armor, and tech and Tabana gas reserves needed to support these massive guns. With eight twin heavy laser cannons, four on the front and four on the rear, this ship packed more firepower than a lot of warships. This doesn't even include its incredible prototype weapon, the Variable Geometry Turbolaser, that could focus its power into one devastating beam, or split it up into at least 10 separate beams of energy. Notice it isn't just firing bolts like a regular turbolaser, but is similar to the composite beam laser turrets of the LAAT gunship. This combination of armament, armor, and large vehicle payload explains why Harbinger is a perfect name for this ship. Republic blockades, even if they had a bunch of corvettes and capital ships, they would still have a hard time stopping this ship. Because it had heavy laser cannons on the front and the rear, it could still fire on any ship that was trying to follow it, breaking off from the blockade, and pursuing them planetside, while using those variable geometry beams to easily blow apart squadrons of starfighters. And just imagine how devastating this would be if multiples of these ships tried to punch through at once. And then imagine you're a clone trooper, and you think you're just about to take out the last of the CIS forces, when the Harbinger ushers in a new wave of enemies. The only problem was that although it was intended to deliver tanks and other vehicles to the battlefront, if confronted by expert tank commanders, they would target that prototype weapon located right underneath the bridge, and if it could be critically damaged, a chain reaction would blow this vehicle apart. Now the second vehicle I wanted to talk about was the Armored Scout Platform. Some people mentioned this way back when I did the STAP, and honestly I had never heard of it. The ASP is based off the STAP of course, but keeps the B1 pilot protected by having a completely enclosed armored capsule and viewing window made of transparent steel. The steering fins are longer, and the engines are moved up from knee height to behind the pilot at shoulder height. The laser cannons may have also been upgraded, but we can't be sure. Both of these vehicles were created for the Clone Wars video game back in 2002, but the ASP was only found in the sketchbook for the game, which showed off some concept art and unused designs. I know I wish we could have seen more of these vehicles in action, and I think they fill a role that is needed in the CIS, a tank deployment ship that can get reinforcements through the heaviest of fire, or break right through blockades, while having a vehicle that's as fast as the STAP, while having the pilot protected by armor, means that you can confidently send them out scouting without fear of being taken out by a single sniper bolt, and they can provide way more assistance if used as quick flanking vehicles in a battle. But let me know what you guys think, do you like their designs, and do you hope they will appear in the final season of the Clone Wars? And that's it for the Harbinger and the Armored Scout platform. If you want to connect with us, help support this channel, or get your own copies of the reference material used in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, and subscribe for more content like this, and a special thank you to our supporters on Patreon. But most important of all, remember, CIS vehicle designers are always hard at work, and the Force will be with you. Always.